Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Lumin PDF, which is a web app um, to be able to annotate or write on a PDF. So, this is especially useful if you're doing home learning in Google Classroom. So, here I'm logged in as a student in Google Classroom, and we've got a demo PDF assignment. So in the Your Work section, we've got the piece of work for the student, and you'll notice it's a PDF. So I'm going to click on the work, and now it's asking me how I'd like to open the work. So if I press Open With, I can click on Lumin PDF as my option in here. In our Google setup, we've got Lumin PDF as a connected app for everyone, and you can check out our other videos on how to do this. So for this instance, I'm going to click on Lumin PDF to open my PDF in it, and that will open me a new tab and open Lumin PDF. Now, this is the first time this student has accessed Lumin PDF, so there's a few things we need to do as it's to set it up. First of all, I'm going to accept the cookies, and then I'm going to connect it to Google Drive. So I'm going to press Connect to Google Drive, and it'll ask me to log in. So I'm just going to click on my student's name to log in and I need to allow access so I need to give Lumin PDF access to my Google Drive so I can view create and edit and delete files and if I press allow then I also um, need to give it further access to Google Drive so it can save changes and things like that so I'm going to allow access on that one as well Finally, um, it just wants to verify and check a few bits more details about yourself um, with Google. So we have to allow that to make it to work. And this is so it can create you an account in Lumin PDF. And after you've done that, it will go through and load up Lumin PDF for you with your PDF attached. Now, Lumin PDF comes with a free version and a paid for version. We only need to use the free version to do this. So I'm going to tick the don't show this again box and I'm going to press not now. So that means this won't pop up again. Um, we do get a little message that comes up at the top um, trying to encourage us to upgrade. So I'm just going to click the cross on that as well. So now we can see here I've got my PDF and I can scroll down to go into the different pages. There's a few tools that we can use with the free version. And the most important ones are we've got the text tool. So this allows us to write free text. So this means we can click anywhere we like and be able to write in something on our uh, sheet of paper. So, so obviously this means that the children can fill in an answer. For example, they could fill in the answers in the blanks here. The other options we have are the freehand tools. So if we click on the freehand tools, you can press on the pencil to start being able to draw. Um, and this allows you to obviously draw with a mouse or uh, with a touchpad. If you wanted to change the colors or anything with that, press the little down the arrow, go to choose style, and then you can change the color and the thickness and a few things like that. And the same with the text option, if you press the little down the arrow on that, you can change the colours um, with that and give it a border and things like that as well, and change the text size as well. So they're, they're the two tools that um, I think are, are the most useful to the children to be able to fill in PDFs. And if you make a mistake, you can undo it here. If your PDF is sideways, you can also use the rotation button here to rotate it round. Um, that quite, can be quite handy if um, a piece of work's been set and um, it's been scanned in and it look, it's gone a bit dodgy. Uh, finally, after you've finished editing the PDF and you've filled in all your answers, you need to save your work to be able to submit it back to Google Classroom. Um, so to be able to do this, we have to first of all download the work. So the teacher will not receive the PDF work back unless it's been downloaded first. So you have to download it. Uh, that will download it at the bottom left hand corner like normal. And then once it's downloaded, we need to submit it back to Google Classroom. So if we pop back to our assignment by clicking on it on the previous tab at the top and press the back arrow to go back to our assignment, 
we have to use the add or create uh, button to hand it in so we're going to press on that and then if we choose file from our option here we should be able to just drag our downloaded file from here straight into Google here and it will load it for us and attach it to your assignment now once it's attached don't forget you've got to press that hand in button to hand it back to your teacher and all it's going to do it's going to hand back the original document and the marked document um, so the teacher will be able to see that in there so I press hand in and that's how we can use Loom in PDF to edit PDFs in Google Classroom.